Okay, so factoring trinomials. This is when, and it should be marked, um, and it probably is on your notes, LC is not 1. So um, what this looks like is if I multiplied 2x times 3x, I would get 6x squared. And then 2x times 2 is 4x. 1 times 3x is 3x. 1 times 2 is 2. So my answer would be 6x squared plus 7x plus 2. So the difference is, is the ones we did before just had x's here, and our answer just had an x squared. So the only difference in what we're doing this time and what we did before is um, we have to consider extra factors. Okay, so for example, I know since this is a trinomial, it's going to factor into two binomials. The difference is, is 6x squared could be 1x, change my color here, could be 1x times 6x, or it could be 2x times 3x. The method that I'm going to show you is called uh, guess and check, but it really should be educated guess and check because you're not just going to randomly pick things. So um, if I chose to do 1x and 6x, I know that 2 is my only, um, the only way to multiply and get 2 is either 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. But checking the inside and outside product here, I know this means the signs are going to be the same and they're both going to be positive. So I get a positive 6x and a positive 2x, which when I combine I give a positive 8x. Well, that's not what I want. I want a positive 7x. So then, since I know I didn't get that right, I'm going to try just switching it up a bit, 2 times 1, because I know that also gives me 2. So checking my inside and outside products, 2 times 6x is 12x, 1x times 1 is 1x. Combine those and I get 13x. Still not what I want. So since the only way, uh, only two factors of 2 are 1 and 2, I know that I've got to try something different for 6x squared. So I'm going to try 2x and 3x. I'm going to check the inside product and outside product. Here I have, that's 6x, and that's 2x, which again is 8x. I know that's not right, so now I'm going to switch and do 1 here and 2 here and see what that gives me. One times three x is three x. Two x times two is four x. Combine those and I do get seven x, which is what I want. So that's my answer. Okay. So looking at example number one. Okay. Two x squared I know is two x times x. And three, I could either put a one here and a three here or a three and a one. I'm going to go ahead, just for sake of argument, put a 1 here and a 3 here. Checking the inside product and the outside product gives me a 7x, not what I want. I want a 5x. So the only thing I can do to get a different answer is 3 and 1. So when I check the inside product and the outside product, I do get 5x. So that's what I needed. Down here, example number 2, 7x. Uh, 7x squared is just 7x times x. And with 4, I could check 2 times 2 or 1 times 4. Again, I could switch those. But I'm going to do 1 and 4 because I know that's what it is. This still means the signs are the same, and they're both going to be positive. So inside product, 1x. Outside product, 28x. Combined to give 29x, which is what I want. We're not going to do the other method, so we're going to skip to example number 4. 5x squared is 5x times x. 6 could be 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. OK, 
Okay, or 3 times 2, which that's what it is. It's 3 times 2. Signs are the same, both positive. We're going to check. Inside product is 3x. Outside product is 10x. Combine those together and you get 13x. So that is what we want. Okay, number five, you can put that understood one right in there. Two n squared, two n and one n. One is just one times one. Now, since this right here, since that's negative, that means these signs have to be different. So that's what we've got to check. Um, in order to get a negative one, then my uh, product, the bigger product has to be negative. So when I check inside product, an outside product. The bigger product has to be negative because that's what um, what the middle term is. In order to get that 2n to be negative, I have to put my negative sign right there, which means the other one has to be positive. And that's my answer. 3x squared minus 11x minus 20. 3x squared is 3x and x. 20 could be 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. It's 4 and 5. Again, the signs are different. The bigger product's negative. So inside product is 4x. Outside product is 15x. To get a negative 11x, the 15 has to be negative. And to get negative 15, that's 3x times negative 5. And positive 4 times x. Now this last one, no matter how many ways you do 5x squared um, and 4, you will not be able to factor it. So it is prime. If it is not factorable, it is called prime. That means the only way you could write it as a multiplication problem is 1 times 5x squared minus 3x plus 4.